Hi guys, thanks for uh, uh, watching another video of mine. Today I'd like to talk about um, debugging web transactions. And the reason I'd like to talk about it is because um, these days uh, REST services and mobile devices and uh, single page applications such as AngularJS apps are very popular. And with that uh, comes a lot of chatter over the network, a lot of HTTP or HTTPS calls and it becomes really handy to know how to debug and the, this traffic so that you can see what is going on in your application and how it interacts with the backend. If you are doing a web development, um, it may be a little bit easier because you can use, um, for example, dev tools in Chrome and, and see the traffic right there. But if you are using mobile applications, it becomes a little bit more difficult. You can um, either do debugging as you are creating your application and add log entries or just steps to the application to see what is going on or do uh, logging on the back end. But it's, it's not optimal, especially if you are trying to just debug how the application behaves uh, on someone else's device, for example. Or you are trying to compare iOS and Android um, applications and how they interact with the back end service. And things like that, it, it becomes a little more complicated or um, maybe necessarily not complicated, but um, it becomes a little bit harder to troubleshoot. So one way how you can go about this is using web debugging proxies. A web debugging proxy is basically performing a man in the middle attack. So it stands between your application and the back and the server. And it basically uh, can see all the traffic that's coming through it. Um, you can do it for HTTP, but you can also do it for HTTPS. And that makes it super handy because you can just see everything that's flowing through it. And you can see the requests, you can see the responses, you can see the headers, you can see the cookies. You basically see everything that's transferring between the front end and the back end. And um, on top of that, you can get a little more sophisticated with this and you can even uh, start modifying the requests that are coming through. You can put a little breakpoint on it and um, as the request is being submitted, proxy basically stops it and lets you modify it and then sends it forward. So then you can see if the request is, is not completely valid, what happens uh, to the back end? Does it handle it properly? Um, you can also record uh, the traffic and do a replay so that you can use it for load testing or for troubleshooting later on. It's just handy all around. Some other things that you can you can do with this is you can throttle uh, traffic so that you can emulate lower, slower connections and and uh, check how your application handles that. So aside from from just uh, using it for troubleshooting, you can also use it for uh, checking for security vulnerabilities and um, uh, either doing a replace, uh, modifying the requests or using some special plugins for these proxies that will uh, start testing for some known vulnerabilities that are um, common or reoccurrence in web applications. So uh, it's super handy to use and um, I highly recommend at least taking a look at one and see if, it, if you can actually get some, um, something useful out of it uh, for your own purposes. When it comes to the actual applications that can do this, Obviously, there's, there's just a lot of them. The ones that I have used in the past are two. Um, one called Fiddler, uh, that's a free one, and it has uh, also a bunch of plugins that you can use. Uh, for example, one for testing security vulnerabilities, um, uh, there is a, there's a little plugin you can add so that every time you make a valid request, it will perform a bunch of scripting attacks against um, your services uh, to make sure that um, it will properly handle any JavaScript code that's being embedded in it and it doesn't actually reflect back to your client. Um, Cross-site scripting is obviously uh, one of the top 10 vulnerabilities uh, for web applications. So uh, this is one way how you can test it. Uh, the other one uh, that I really like, it's called Charles Proxy. And this one is commercial. It costs about $50 or so for, per license. And um, it runs on Windows and runs on Mac. And it, again, very great one. Um, it has the replay capabilities. It has the uh, throttling capabilities. 
um, and it, it also simplifies configuration if you want to test your traffic uh, that's encrypted that's using HTTPS um, it, it will allow you to go to your mobile device set up a proxy on it and then subsequently go to a special link um, that will allow you to download um, a root certificate for your proxy so that um, your device actually trusts it and um, it will not complain that it's an invalid certificate because basically what it does when you have HTTPS is that the, the valid traffic from, uh, from and to your server is actually terminated on the proxy and then the proxy issues its own certificate uh, for the HTTPS traffic to your client. So it has to do this, otherwise uh, either your uh, mobile device or your browser will start complaining that uh, the certificate's coming through is a self-signed certificate and it doesn't trust it. So uh, again, a lot of different options um, so these two are not the only ones, but the, um, the Fiddler and Charles Proxy, um, you'll run into a lot. Um, so I strongly encourage you to try one out, see if you really like it, and hopefully you find them useful. Thank you very much. See ya.